Today is Pokemon Go's birthday and we finally got information about the anniversary event that is happening tomorrow. I'm Alex Gummikie Chikle and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Oh my god! Back to back! Another shiny! Yeah. Oh my god! Just want to say first and foremost, I hope you guys had a fantastic 4th of July. My girlfriend Rebecca and I and her family all went to Virginia City yesterday. It was fantastic. I didn't expect it to be super packed, but we saw the parade and then we went to Carson City for some fireworks. It was phenomenal. So we had a really great time. So now that the holiday is over, we're going to be focusing on another holiday and that is the 5th anniversary of Pokemon Go. And yes, we all were just waiting for some information on this event and we finally got some stuff for today. So we're going to go and break down some of the Pokemon that's spawning, some bonuses and other stuff. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, that thumbs up and that notification bell and let me know in the comments below, are you excited for this week? I know that I'm excited. So I say let's go ahead and talk about the fifth anniversary of Pokemon Go. First of all, just want to give a shout out to Leak Duck. They have always are one of the sources I like to check out, so I will try to leave the link in the description so you can check out Leak Duck and other stuff. But here we go, Pokemon Go anniversary celebration. This event is tomorrow on Tuesday, July 6th, starting at 10 a.m. all the way through Thursday, July 15th at 8 p.m. So ladies and gentlemen, this anniversary event is gonna be a nine day event and this is going to be before GoFest, so this is something I would take advantage of because we got some bonuses, a new shiny, and a Pokemon that is going to come back as a shiny. So we're going to read a lot about this. So as we all know, this is celebrating the fifth year of Pokemon Go. And so here's some more stuff happening of this event. I think that trucker just flipped me off. The bonuses for this event is going to be one hour lure. So if you drop any lure, such as a regular lure, a grassy lure, a, no, it's a mossy lure, sorry. A glacial lure, magnetic lure, or the new rainy lure. Now that motorcycle just flipped me off. Come through. Anyway, if you drop a lure, you get one hour lures activated instead of 30 minutes. So now let's talk about the features of this event. You will receive daily bonus field research tasks that lead to encounters with Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Chikorita, Cynical, Totodile, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Snivy, Tepic, Oshawa, Chessman, Fennekin, and Froakie. Honestly, I, I just could have just said like all the six generation starters. Complete the collection challenge for this event for a ward encounter with a flying Pikachu with a five shaped balloon as well as rare candy and a massive amount of Pokeballs. So we're gonna need to do a lot of stuff during this time as we're doing this event. We're probably gonna be at Minden Park a lot because I have to spin Poke Stops anyway to get a lot of Pokeballs for GoFest. It also says that fireworks from GoFest last year are gonna be back in this game as well. So that's interesting. While you're looking at the fireworks during the fifth anniversary celebration, check out the new in sky um, the new in-game sky too. That's right. The previous announced real-time sky mechanic and additional Pokedex classifications, which we didn't really cover on this channel, but it's been a feature already out for some trainers around the world. It is going to be out tomorrow. So I don't have some pictures, but I will probably leave a link to the description somewhere. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny male 10 when you activate the mystery box during the fifth anniversary celebration. So shiny male 10 will be returning during this event. So if you have the Pokemon Home app or you have a Nintendo Switch and you have Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu, you could definitely do that. I have both, but I prefer to do the home app. Last year we did the Jumpstart special research. This is going to be available during this time for any trainers who miss out on it during last year's anniversary. So be sure to open the app during this period to claim their special research that is designed to help you catch up with other trainers with tons of Stardust and XP rewards, as well as some exciting Pokemon encounters. I think if we did it last year, I don't think we could do it again. Hopefully we get to do it again. If not, 
at least we did it last year. You can get fifth anniversary gift stickers and gifts. Honestly, I could really care less about stickers. Why is, first of all, why is Niantic doing stickers? It's stupid, get rid of it. Fix the bugs. You can add in the stickers later. You'll be able to expand your item bag up to 3,500 from Monday, July 5th. If you need more space in your item bag, you can get item bag upgrades in the shop. The special box, ultra box, and the adventure box will contain different items starting Monday, July 5th. Darumaka and Flying Pikachu with a five-shaped balloon are gonna be appearing more frequently in the wild. And if you are lucky, you may get a shiny Darumaka. That is right, we get a new shiny during the fifth anniversary of Pokemon Go. And honestly, this is actually a pretty cool shiny. It's like a pink lemonade color and it has like yellow dots everywhere. Um, and it evolves into Darmanitan, which is kind of like, how do I explain its color? It's like a very crimson, it's like a really dark crimson red. I really like this. Um, I didn't, I totally forgot we don't have a shiny Darumaka in the game. So that's pretty awesome that we have a new shiny. Niantic has not confirmed if Pikachu with the flying balloons is gonna be shiny. We got a shiny last year, and then we traded off for a shiny Cresselia because I don't like gimmicks or costumes on Pokemon. So if I get a shiny, I just trade them away. But we did get a shiny last year, and if you need a shiny, just hope that it's out during this event. Um, so that's a little bit about that. The Pokemon that will be spawning in the wild are the following. The three starters from both Gen 1, Gen 3, I said both, that's more than two. Gen 5, so we have the Gen 1, Gen 3, Gen 5 starters spawning everywhere. We recently had Tepig Community Day, so Shiny Tepig is out. So if you haven't gotten a Shiny Tepig for some reason, this could be your redemption, you have nine days. And then we also have the Flying Pikachu and Darumaka like we have mentioned. The following Pokemon will be appearing around Pokestops with active lure modules and after you complete the field research task, you can also encounter some of these first partner Pokemon in the wild, including Bulbasaur, Tepig, Trico, etc. So literally every single starter from generations one through six. Do not expect me to name them all. I have them on the screen. You know they're starters. You can literally go after every single one of them for any lures. I think it's the, the specific one. I think it's the raid, not the raid. Wow, I can't talk today. Um, the regular lure. I was gonna say regular raid pass. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have raids. Obviously, Mega Houndoom is gonna be in Mega Raids. We obviously have the Deoxys in its defense form in Legendary Raids, which by the way, I am not gonna do raids for because it's not gonna drop as a shiny. So there's no point of that. But for the one star raids during this event, you will have Flying Pikachu, Darumaka, Chespin, Fennigan, and Froakie. So the Generation 6 starters, plus the return of the Flying Pikachu and Darumaka, which has been announced as the new Shiny, will be in 1-star raids. They have not announced what's going to be in 3-star raids as of yet, but I'm going to go after Darumaka if we're not having any luck, because honestly, with the raids that are out right now, I don't see any that have potential. I'm hoping that Snorlax is in the Tier 3 that would make this event more legendary, um, disregard of the fact that it's in raids. I mean, because it's not going to be in the wild because, oh my god, there's a lot of starters and there's no way, you know? But it'd be kind of nice to have Snorlax in. That's just my opinion, though. Um, but even though it may not happen. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, those are the details for the fifth anniversary of the fifth anniversary event that is happening between July 6th, which is tomorrow, all the way through July 15th. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you excited for Shiny Darumaka? Are you excited that Pikachu's flying balloon form is back? Do you need a Shiny from that if you didn't get it last year? Again, I traded off last year after I got it because I just didn't like it. It's like with the hats and costumes and other gimmicks. But anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure that you guys check out another video during this week while we are trying to get Shiny Darumaka. And stay tuned for GoFest for next weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.